Hello and welcome to December's Inside Picture House, which this month comes from Cinema City in Norwich. Coming up, are you ready to play the next level? Episode 9, the perfect Christmas musical. 150 years on, the March sisters still captivate and a roundup of Inside Picture House's favourite films of the decade. I think he went back in. We gotta go get him. Are you out of your mind? Jumanji The Next Level sees Dwayne Johnson, Jack Black, Kevin Hart and Karen Gillan reprise their roles as the avatars in the Jumanji video game. Welcome to Jumanji! With the human characters, Spencer, Bethany, Fridge and Martha getting sucked back into the game for a second time. Once back inside, they discover that nothing is as they expect, braving unexplored and unknown levels of arid deserts and snowy mountains. Danny DeVito, Danny Glover and Aquafina also star. It's an instinct. Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, written and directed by Hollywood wunderkid J.J. Abrams, is the much-anticipated final instalment of the sequel trilogy and brings to a close 40 years of the Skywalker saga. People keep telling me they know me. No one does. Adam Driver and Daisy Ridley return as Kylo Ren and Rey, and for the last time, the Resistance must face the New Order. Billy Dee Williams reprises his character, Lando Calrissian. First scene in The Empire Strikes Back in 1980. This year's musical spectacular is the feline fantasy Cats, adapted from the Andrew Lloyd Webber stage show, which in turn was based on the 1939 poetry collection Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats by T.S. Eliot. A tribe of cats called the Jellicles come together at the annual Jellicle Ball to decide which one of them will ascend to the heaviside layer, heaven. The roll call is impressive. Judy Dench, James Corden, Idris Elba, and Taylor Swift, to name but a few. I want to be an artist in Rome and be the best painter in the world. That's what you want too, isn't it, Joe? To be a famous writer. Yes, but it sounds so crass when she says. Little Women has been both adapted for screen and directed by Greta Gerwig, Ladybird. <laughs> Set in 1860s New England in the aftermath of the Civil War, when the possibilities for a new America were emerging, the lives of the indomitable March sisters seem as individual, relevant, brave and challenging today as they ever were. Women, they have minds and they have souls, as well as just hearts. Gerwig has assembled an incredible cast, led by Saoirse Ronan and Timothy Chalamet, with Laura Dern as their mother and Meryl Streep as fussy and particular Aunt March. And now Screen Arts. Two quintessential festive favourites are screening this December. On the 10th, fantasy and reality collide in E.T.A. Hoffman's light-hearted comic romance, Coppelia. On the 17th, the Royal Ballet's glorious production of The Nutcracker, created by Peter Wright in 1984, is the production par excellence of an all-time ballet favourite. Usher in the 2020s with the Berlin Philharmonica, with favourites from Gershwin, Bernstein and Porter and the orchestra's brand new conductor, Kirill Petrenko. And now December's news. Picture House are hugely excited to announce the opening this month of our second West End cinema, become a founder member to be forever immortalised on the founder's wall. Our Picture House Christmas Carol season presents cinema classics from the past, present and future such as Miracle on 34th Street, Die Hard, East German Oddity The Singing Ringing Tree, The Muppets Christmas Carol and a special preview screening of next year's provocative satire Jojo Rabbit. See picturehouses.com forward slash Christmas for the full festive lineup. 
on December the 12th. Don't miss the chance to see Jacques Demy's visually intoxicating The Umbrellas of Cherbourg back on the big screen. This vivid and sumptuously scored homage to the Hollywood musical remains a major influence on directors including Damien Chazelle and Wes Anderson. Why not give the gift of cinema goodness this Christmas with a beautiful picture house gift box, only available to buy at your local picture house. We will give one pound to our charity partner Refuge for every gift box sold. As we end the decade, we take a quick look back at some of the best cinema of the 20 teens. 2010, The Social Network, Jesse Eisenberg is superb as Mark Zuckerberg in this chillingly prescient masterpiece. 2011, Rango, Johnny Depp as an animated chameleon would-be thespian that ends up Sheriff of Dirt. 2012, Francis Ha, the most delightful of mumblecore films starring Greta Gerwig. 2013, Before Midnight, the bittersweet third part in the Before Sunrise story starring a magnificent Julie Delpy and Ethan Hawke. 2014, We Are The Best, Lucas Moodison's 80s set teenage girls in punk band Joy. 2015, Animalisa, Charlie Kaufman's funny and tragic stop motion animated Contemplation of Loneliness. 2016, Notes on Blindness, brilliant and beautiful meditation based on the experience of writer John M. Hull. 2017, Call Me By Your Name, exquisite 80s Italy set drama with outstanding Timothy Chalamet and Army Hammer. 2018, Cold War, visually stunning 50s set monochrome love story with fabulously unexpected characters. 2019, Booksmart, properly funny, original, unflinching, take us as we are, girl buddy movie with the standout Beanie Feldstein and Caitlin Deva. Once home to the town's mayor, 16th century Suckling House has been home to Cinema City since 1978. Now a three screen picture house cinema with a courtyard and excellent restaurant, the dining rooms. We lease this wonderful building, um, which in parts is up to 900 years old, through the Sir John Hurt Film Trust, which was relaunched just a couple of weeks ago with Mark Commode as the patron. Apart from the heritage of the building, one of the things that's really unique about us is our restaurant, the Dining Rooms, which serves some of the best a la carte food in Norwich. The Dining Rooms opened in 2007 when Picture House got involved with the cinema aspect of it. Through Leaf was consulted on the look and feel of the place and we've tried to build from there, continuing the local seasonal produce that we use in the kitchen. It's not just the weddings that we do, we do birthdays, we do gala events, we do as much uniqueness as we can because it's a beautiful building and just to push that is just wonderful. That's it for December, the year and the decade. Remember to keep up to date at our website, picturehouses.com. Pick up a copy of our festive Picture House Recommends magazine and become a member for a bunch of extra benefits. Merry Christmas and see you again in January 2020.